All right, where's that turkey? <laughs> Jelly, those are my maternity pants. No, no, these are my Thanksgiving pants. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, here we are in November officially, and I don't want to talk about pumpkin patch anymore. I want to talk about something that's kind of an unpopular opinion here. Well, at least I think it's an unpopular opinion, but I really like Thanksgiving. Halloween's not really my thing, and honestly, it just kind of gets too much candy in my house, and my kids are too wound up by candy, anyways. Um, I love Christmas. Don't get me wrong. I love its the meaning of it. I love the revelry of it as well. But I think sometimes we have this problem that since it's smushed in the middle, Thanksgiving quite often gets overlooked. And I'm, I don't really know why, but I know that I like Thanksgiving. Now, I, I, you really if I hard-pressed to give you an exact reason, I couldn't give you a number one reason. It's probably a whole bunch of things. Um, when I was a kid growing up, you know, it's it's a little break you have right in the middle of this long stretch of days, right up to the end of the second second quarter. So it was nice to have a little break there. Um, maybe it is because as a kid we also broke out the fine china. You know, it's except for Easter, Christmas, and Thanksgiving. I mean, that's the only times we really brought out the nice dishes. So it was kind of a nice setup. Uh, I like Thanksgiving food a lot. <laughs> A lot, a lot. All varieties of it, except for maybe pumpkin pie. Now, I know it's a really unpopular opinion, but we'll come back to that later. I like Thanksgiving. Um, maybe it's also because for Thanksgiving, there's zero expectations, really. You wake up, there's you wake up, there's Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade going on. While I don't love watching it, it's nice to watch it with my kids. I watched it with my parents. It's just kind of a, it's a relaxed day. It's okay to turn on a football game that you don't care about and watch it for four hours. And then watch the one after that too. It's okay to just hang out with your family as maybe you're preparing food or somebody else in your house is preparing food. It's just a nice way to... It's comforting. Now... One of the things that was I, I didn't participate in, and I still don't, is the the Black Friday, Thanksgiving, post Thanksgiving events. I'm not a huge fan, but it was kind of fun to see, uh, just hear the news trickle in of all the stuff that went down at the stores. As a kid, you always wondered, you know, when your parents come home, how much of that is yours. <laughs> um, even as an adult, you know, I know people who go shopping. And I wonder, hmm, what did they get me on Black Friday? But if you've been paying attention in American society, it's not just Black Friday anymore. It creeps into Thanksgiving now, doesn't it? Stores close for a little bit during the day, but don't you know stores open Thanksgiving night now? They start doing their Black Friday sales before Thanksgiving. It's what I'm calling the, the holiday creep, where Christmas is no longer confined to that post-Thanksgiving time frame. It's really squished over into Thanksgiving and into November. Uh, you see this in stores. You see it when they start setting up for Christmas before Halloween. Uh, you, you might notice that a lot of places. Um, the Christmas music's going to kick in really soon. I believe there are already some radio stations that have done that. Uh, a lot of people put up trees now. I mean, come on, at least wait till Thanksgiving's over. It's really hard to be Thanksgiving sometimes. But the one thing that I mentioned this in a sermon last week in church, and I said, hey, for this year, don't sleep on Thanksgiving. Now, that doesn't actually mean sleep. What that actually means is, is don't take it for granted this year. Thanksgiving is really a time where it's meant to just be relaxed and be calm. Obviously, be thankful for what you have, be thankful for what you've been given, but it's, it's really just, it's a deep breath. Um, it's the deep breath before the plunge. 
if I quote Gandalf at all. Um, so don't forget about it this year. It's been a very hectic year. A lot of things have gone wrong. There's a lot of potential for things to still go wrong. If you're listening outside of Florida, we've had, you know, I'm going to call it the, the dumbest storm system ever. If you want to do yourself a favor for a good laugh, go look up the hurricane track uh, throughout its entirety of um, Tropical Storm Eta. You know, we ran out of names, and so we're going Greek alphabet, and Eta's kind of come in, did a loop, out, loop, loop. It, it's, it's going all over the place. It's realistically the perfect storm for uh, for 2020. It's just, we, we need to take a break. We're taught that we're supposed to have a Sabbath day, a day of rest. That should happen every week, whether it's Sunday, Saturday, Monday. I know some pastors take Monday off. It is a, you need time off. You need time to just be, be with your family. Be with your friends. Be with God? Maybe. Maybe bring God into this. Now, without getting into too much of the the historical implications of Thanksgiving, one of the hallmarks of what we would say Thanksgiving time is to think about, first of all, how much we're grateful for. But it also should be a time of reconciliation. A time to think... I am blessed with what I have, even whether it's a lot, whether it's a literal, whether it's just to be breathing, it's a blessing. And who along the way this year might I need to reconcile with? Who maybe I, I talked a little harshly to? Who's somebody I haven't spoken to in a while because we didn't see eye to eye on something? Thanksgiving is really the perfect time for that. Now, we all know that... We are owed nothing by God. God owes us nothing. Uh, We should be thankful for the God that cares for us. We should be thankful for the God that cares so much for us that he sent his son to die for us and suffer a price that he didn't have to pay. Through that, we are given forgiveness. And if we take a lesson from that in Colossians, hold on one second, Colossians 3.13, it tells us, to bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against somebody forgive as the lord forgave you in a time where we should be thankful to be alive we give thanks to god for that we ask for forgiveness for god but we can really only expect forgiveness if we're forgiving those who we might have who have wronged us throughout the year maybe we wrong somebody we go ask them for forgiveness it's the right time of year to do that and i've also mentioned this before you know the dysfunctional family dinner is a funny movie and quite often it's probably way too real things are funny when they're real but think about how you could come unite as a family this year as you could come together and relax and just enjoy each other now family could mean your direct family it could mean extended family that's up to you we're all brothers and sisters in christ so take a moment this year don't jump into christmas just yet keep that tree put away for just a little bit longer don't forget about thanksgiving and the peace and calmness that it could bring to your life now, next week, we're coming back with a little lighter-hearted concept. I put a poll out on Instagram of what's your favorite side dish. I'm not going to tell you mine, but we'll give you the answers next week. Have a great week.